Well, how do that? Chums, tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm inside of No Man's Sky, and I'm back at the portal that I got to when I hit up my creative save to join the Light No Sky event. So, we've been sent quite a few submissions for Best Planet to do the Light No Sky event on this time around for Season 2, so I'm going to be hitting up those sort of portal glyphs and showing you what's on the opposite side. Now, I'm not going to share the actual portal glyph codes just in case we decide to use one of these planets, but we've had some awesome contenders. So, yeah, I'm going to hit up the codes and I'll see you on the other side. Activate portal, and yeah, I'll see you on the opposite side of planet number one. Okay, I've just keyed in the first code. Now, this was sent to me by Ominous Gaunt. Now, I know that Ricey and Professor Cynical have also had submissions and sent to them. So, what I'm showcasing now is not the maximum. You know, we've had loads sent to us. So, sorry if I don't feature everyone's. This is just the best of the best of the submissions. Okay, right, well, I've arrived to Kate on this lovely planet. It says first contact. This isn't first contact. This was found by um, Ominous Gaunt, so a little bit weird. Now, there is a flying fauna on this planet. The only thing is, it looks like it's landed me on the, um, the night side of this planet. Let's go to the day side so I can showcase you it properly in all of its glory. I'll see you when I touch down on the day side. Okay, so this planet has got some beautiful trees on it. It's got beautiful autumnal colouring to the actual grass. And look, it even has flying beetles, which is pretty darn lovely. Now, I'm just going to put this into, say, normal mode for a second, just to see what the sentinels are like on this planet. So let's hit that into normal. Boom. And, yeah, low security. So it's it's brilliant. It's and the actual weather itself it says beautiful so this one ticks a heck of a lot of boxes now personally i think this is an awesome planet because it's got an interesting terrain it's a small planet i mean and it's a moon so it hasn't got any water so you don't have to worry about having to swim miles and stuff like that i think this would be a pretty darn epic planet it's got lovely cave systems it's got different heights as well so it for a varied sort of combat when we enter into pvp i think this is a very strong contender so this is why i shortlisted it into my top three so you can see what you're up against people now the only thing that is slightly off-putting about this planet is the sky color it's like this horrible yellow now you either get green skies yellow skies or blue skies there's not much else going on i really wish hello games would mix up the sky colors just that little bit more and cloud colors because it doesn't seem to vary all that much and yellow skies are, are among my worst out of all of the planets to be honest people and uh, yeah even and ricey ricey doesn't like yellow skies either and cynical's not too fond of them but anyway this was one of the submissions that we actually put into our little mini voting pool because myself cynical and ricey make the decision on which planet we're going to go for and this one was a serious contender this held top spot for a little while i uh, we get to the other planets people i'll go back to the portal and hit up the next one so I'm about to leave this autumnal planet and I want to say a massive thank you to Omnus Gaunt for his submission and the time taken to find this beautiful world. It is freaking great. It really is nice. Heck yes. So thank you very much Omnus Gaunt for this. So yeah, good yo. Double thumbs up. Lovely. And I'm going to head back out through the portal, people. Now I am going to keep this portal code secret just in case we decide to use it in future. Okay, now this next one was actually found by me, and I did do a video on um, you know, planets that I toured or found and stuff like that. But here you go, I'm going to activate the portal and I'm going to show you the best of my finds, because I did continue on after that video I did. If you want to see my video of my searching and how I came across planets like this, hit up that video there on how to find lush and lovely planets. 
Okay, so I've arrived located on this lovely world. It says, yeah, there you go. I discovered this. Now, I called it LNS Red for Light No Sky Red because it's got the red grass. It's quite beautiful. And I sort of just gave it a placeholder name. The only thing is with this planet is it has these mushrooms on it. It doesn't have trees. Now, it doesn't look very much in keeping. At least I don't think it's in keeping with that those sort of biomes in a light no, light, light no fire. Now this planet has the beetles in, you can see there, it's like a, a giant staggy type beetle. But not only them, it also has dragonfly creatures. So it's got two flying creatures on this planet, which is awesome, and probably the two best type of flyers that you'd want. The beetles are nice and fast, the, um, the majestic butterflies, not so quick. I'm trying to spot the majestic butterflies, but I'm not seeing them. They're red, and they've got long tails. I'll see if we can find them. Okay, chums, I have found them. There they are over there. Let's just pop into camera mode and I'll show you them with the sun in the sky. So they're these lovely pinky reddy sort of wormy type flutterbys. Yes, there they are. Looking freaking majestic, aren't they? Beautiful even. Heck yes. Now, the eagle-eyed of you may have seen the portal code pop up then when I popped into the old camera mode. But you know what? Because this one has got the mushrooms and also the sky colour on this one is this really sort of washed out beige colour. Cynical and Rice, he sort of dismissed this one quite quickly and said, you know, it, it would be good for maybe those that want to play solo, you know, outside of the event. It's probably one we're never going to use ourselves. But this was still in the running because it's got so many flying creatures. So if you do want to hit up LNS Red, I will share you this code. So at least you got something from this. You know, if you're a Switch player, you want to play solo or in outside of the event, hit up that code in the bottom left corner there. There you go. You can have this planet. I don't think we're ever going to use it inside of Light No Sky or Light No Fire, I should say. Anyway, I better head back through the portal and I'll show you the last final planet, which, uh, yeah. It's pretty darn freaking epic, and it is going to be the one, I think, that we're going to be using for this event. I mean, something else might come along that's better, but right now, it's the winner winner chicken dinner planet next, people. Okay, so this third and final planet has been found by Professor Cynical, and what's nice about this one is the previous two were both moons. This one is a small planet that has water as well, so it might have little ponds, nice little lookouts. So this is, this is something quite special. Okay, right, well I've arrived located on this beautiful orange planet, and you can see there, bound by Professor Cynical, and he's already named it Season 2. Season 2, let's go! <laughs> Brilliante! And look at this planet, isn't it wonderful? Heck yes it is. And you can see here, right off the off, we've got these flying little critters here. A little butterfly, guys. Whoops, I, oh, I didn't mean to fully scan it. All right, well, there's another variety right there anyway. So, whoops, I scanned one. I don't want to scan anything here. Dang it. I, I was in autopilot. Sorry. Uh, that one's going to have to be mine. You know what? I'm going to give it a funny name. There we go. Let's, um, let's upload it. Rename and upload. And I'm going to call him Majestic Craig. There you go. It was already it. It's in my autofill, people. Majestic Craig. <laughs> Okay, that's the only thing I'm going to name. Honest. Promise. Okay, all right, fine. Oh, shite. Oh, well, Cynical named the planet. I named the first creature. We'll let Ricey name something and then we're even. Okay, coolio. There we are. Um, Yeah, Majestic Craig is now out there, people, for you to grab and tame when you do finally get the portal code to this. But this is the planet where we're going to be taking part in Light No Sky Season 2. I'm just going to fly over this planet a bit in my ship just to show you just how beautiful it is because you can see why this one out. It's got the flying fauna. It, it has got the sort of yellowy sky, but it's more of an orange sky rather than a yellow sky. But it's got a... The, the colour of the planet is beautiful. The trees are awesome. But you can see here that it was quite a close call between ominous gaunts and this planet. And this planet just won. Just, you know. Yeah. Cool, yeah. But there we are. Beautiful world. Now, the reason this one won over Ominous Gaunts is mainly because it's got water. 
that was the only thing. But in all fairness, I did tell Ominous Gaunt that we wanted a small planet. Moon's preferable. But if you could find a small planet that's got waypoints that are quite in abundance on a planet, then we'd be interested in seeing it. It looks like Professor Cynical is already here. It looks like Professor Cynical might be putting down a base as we speak. Let's go and have a look, see what Cynical's up to, shall we, people? Okay, let's go up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. And I'm going to go and see Mr. Cynical. At least I think it's him that's in. Where's he gone? I'll reconvene. Well, howdy there, Mr. Cynical. How are you, buddy? Uh -oh. I'm doing majestically awesome, sir. I accidentally named a creature on this beautiful planet, mate. I scanned him. I called him Majestic Craig. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, he's a little butterfly guy. I just come out of the portal and it was it was freaking. I was in autopilot. I wasn't thinking. But I see you've named the planet, so I've named something. You've named something. Hopefully, Ricey. Yeah, yeah, they were <laughs> very cool. But mate, are you putting down a base? Are you? Cool. Lovely. I like it. I like your little ponds. Oh, there's a base already here. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> it's right behind me. Okay, cool. All right, lovely. Well, very nice. I'm not going to go into uh, camera mode for fear that I might give away the portal address because I'm an idiot. Yeah. No. No, definitely not. You've got to you've got to come here via an MS form, which we're going to share on our Discords. So if you're not already on our Discords, get on our Discords. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm actually recording this at the moment, Cynical, so it's going to be in a video. But yeah, well done on your find of this majestically awesome planet. I think it's freaking great, mate. I mean, I don't know how you find these things. You need to make a video. And how you, is it just luck? Pure luck. Righto. Coolio. I just showcased a few other bases. I went to Ominous... Oh, no, not bases. Planets. I went to Ominous Gaunt's entry. The lovely sort of autumnal one that's got beetles and, and butterflies. Has this got beetles or just butterflies? It's got beetles as well. Who knows? It is. It's got two... Two variants of butterfly, yeah. Yeah, it's got flyers to get us over water. And we can give away pet eggs for uh, slightly deeper oceans. But this is good. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 58 minutes by my reckoning. I've just got the scanner on your base right here. Lovely. All right. Okay, so if I go to the portal and then go the opposite direction from here, so there'll be like, what, 58 minutes to the portal, then 58 minutes to me, yeah? All right, yeah, that sounds good. All right, well, I'll go and pitch a base an hour away in another direction from you. All right. Cool, yeah. All right, see you later, Cynical. It's been lovely. S smoke me a kipper. Okay, all right, okay, don't smoke me a kipper then. <laughs> all right, see you later. Bye, mate. Bye-bye. Okay, chums, well, I'm 52 minutes away from the portal, and I've found a nice little area here. We've got some nice little lakes. We've got some nice little islands. It looks pretty much similar to where Cynical was. And it's got some butterflies, so I think I'm going to be claiming this as mine. And we are south from the portal. So, and I think Cynical is north from the portal. So Rice has got a choice of east or west, I suppose, or wherever he wants to go. But just an hour away from the portal in a separate direction from myself and Cynical. So, yeah, I'm just going to pop into creative mode. I'm going to put down the very basics of a base. Well, I'm going to put down at least a base computer anyhow. Cool, yeah. This Sentinel's a little bit interested in me, isn't he? What are the Sentinels like here? Require orthodoxy. So I suppose they're a little bit of annoyance, but not overly. All right. They might be interested, though, when we pop it in survival mode, which could make for some interesting questing. People, I just claimed my base. And uh, 
I'm quite near. Look, there's a colossal archive just up there. I didn't even see it, honestly. When I claimed on base and it shot up in the air, I saw that afterwards. So, freaking lucky stuff, mate. Freaking lucky monkey. We've got a colossal archive just up the freaking hill. Heck yeah, well, that's going to be useful. I'm sure. Okay, right, anyway, I'm going to build my base here. Mum's the word on that one. Then again, they're probably going to watch my freaking video, aren't they, and see it. Oh, well, I could always edit that bit out, but I probably won't just to go, no, 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 I've got an archive. Yeah, not to give out the old portal address. But here we go. This is it. Right here, let's put the sun in the sky. Pow. And it does look like a little turtle, but it, it, I didn't make it look like a turtle. It just ended up looking like it. Slightly off-center anyway, but there we go. Pretty darn freaking lovely. It's got little sitting areas out there where you can sit and have your tea. I'll take you inside and show you the inside. So I haven't done too much on the inside because I still want things to add inside of here and put a decor in on things that I gather, you know. Oh, I haven't put in um, like a, a bio thing to actually power all of this so i better put that in let's go into the old power stuff can i actually put in a biofuel reactor right now yes i can i can put down one i'll put it right here yeah might as well might i i like to try and hide the technology though but there's not really anywhere i can hide this i didn't overly think it to be honest i'll just stick it there right let's just put that onto there let's see if i can give this a bit of power then and boom Put some carbon in. Is that enough to power it? It is. Lovely. Okie pokey. Well, there we go. We've got power. Now we've got a bar over here. That's the 07 Tea Drinking Bar. So you can come and have yourself a lovely tea beverage. And this is where I store all my tea inside of here. I need an Atlas Pass Level 1 before I can make use of this. Now, I think one of the first quests that we're going to be having is to find a manufacturing facility and get yourself an Atlas Pass Level 1. So there we go. Yeah, we need the blueprints for those because I don't believe you can just craft an Atlas Pass level one. I don't think it gives you it on creative mode. I don't think I've got it inside of a recipe. I think I'm going to have to go and find it. Yeah. So we're going to have to go to manufacturing facilities to get the, um, the Atlas Pass level one. And then my actual crew can take use of this and get themselves navigational data for printing charts and things for going on quests and finding outposts. Oh, I've just popped a milestone. Okay. Yeah, we've walked 10k miles. Lovely. Well, that just happened. <laughs> what a cool view of this lovely lake. We've got lots of like little like um, you know, flutterbys and things there. Pretty lovely. I quite like this. Uh, yeah, the sound glitch seems to have stopped now. Or at least it has for now, anyway. I don't think it's going to start up again. I hope it doesn't. I think it might be related to the butterflies anyway. Something else I could do with putting in here is a little step. Because for whatever reason, it glitches out. I'm not too sure which way that's facing right now. There we go. Let's see if that helps me get in. Yes, it does. There we go. I made a few changes, so I'll just re-upload my base. But there we go. It's called the 07 Brew Crew Drink... Drink... HQ. Tea drinking HQ. There we go. Kaboom. And I am one hour south of the portal. Not that you can see the portal anymore, I don't think. No. But we can see that Professor Cynical should be two hours away. And I think he is that direction over there. There's Cynical all the way over there. It says it's going to take one hour on foot. I don't know whether it will because... He's an hour from the portal. Yeah, so shouldn't do. But at least we're closer together. Cynical's just got to put down... Well, not Cynical. Rice has just got to put down his base. And then all three of us are in. And then we'll be sharing... Well, we won't be sharing the actual portal code. But you will be able to pick up the MS Teams... Well, the MS form. Fill it in. Send it over. Submit your entry. And then we'll give you the portal address. And you can come and join us. And the way that you're going to be looking out for that um, URL for the actual form to come and join us, we'll be putting on maybe our community tabs, uh, putting on our discords, maybe even putting it in a video description. If I can put it in this video description, I'll put it in this video description. Go hit it up. But yeah, we need to wait until Rice is in and we need to wait until we're going to say yes, go live. So you might not find it in the description while you're watching this video now, but maybe check back in a week or so. But then I'm going to put it on my community tab anyway. So if you don't see it there now, then 
yeah keep an eye for the community tab or discord but yeah lots of new rules so you can see here i'm a viking Anybody that joins the 07 Brew Crew, you need to be a Viking. And if you can, attach yourself a title that's got Viking inside of the title. If you're not sure what I'm on about, um, let's see if I can put down an appearance modifier quickly just here. I'll delete it perhaps afterwards, but for now, there you go. Oh, I'll need to connect and freaking power to it. All right, there we go. Okay, so if I go over here, oh, insufficient power. Yeah, I don't think these work, even when you do hook up, hook up power to them, do they? All right, fine. All right, yeah, you got to have a title, basically. Okay, I've got it to work. There you go. Appearance modifier, go into here, and then when you go to your banner, you should also be able to pick a title. You can see here I chose one that says Viking at Arms. That way, when people scan me from a diff different distance, they can see I'm a Viking. Even if they can't see that I'm a physically a Viking, they should see that title. So if you're a Gek, try and choose one that's got Gek in it. If you're... Yeah, and you're joining Pref Professor Cynical, you're going to be a Gek. And if you're joining Ricey, you're going to be a Corvax. And try and choose a title that has Entity in the title. Okay? Cool, yeah. So there we are. Now I'm just going to delete that because it's it looks hideous, doesn't it? Okay, cool. Done, dilly and done. And that's my base. So it's quite basic at the moment. I'll probably be putting more things in here as and when I go out on my adventures and decorate it a bit better, add in some better chairs, maybe even give myself a, a little bedroom. I might change the layout slightly, might put a little bedroom just off of there or something. I don't know. But to be honest, I can just curl up here. This is fine. Yeah, I might put in a save point as well. In fact, I'm going to put in a, a save beacon if I've got one, if I can put in a save beacon. And I'm going to put it as red. So my colour is red. Oh, I need some sodium nitrate. So bear with me. I'm just going to get some sodium nitrate. Okay, all right. So for the save beacon, there's a save beacon. I might put it outside. I might just put it right next to this. I mean, they look like little droids, don't they? Right, and then I'm just going to colour it red because my colour is red. And we'll stick that there. Got it. So a little save beacon outside. Got my base computer outside. Got my base all done. Yeah, I'm ready for this community event. Thank you, yes, I am. Thank you. And inside the multi-tool, the neutron cannon has been banned this time around, people. Neutron cannon and geology cannon both banned. The geology cannon does too much damage to the actual landscape. And the neutron cannon seems to negate shields and it's too OP. So they're the only two banned weapons. And I think you've got pretty much everything you need to get started. I did do a getting started video, starting in creative mode, which you can and can't do. Basic rules, even that stuff with all the, the, the banner and the naming and all that. And what races apply to what factions. I put that video link up there so you can get yourself started. So you can hit up, get yourself all the bits that you need. And then all you're waiting for then is the portal code. And the way you get the portal code this time is by filling in that MS form, the Microsoft form, that we'll be sharing the URL soon. So keep an eye out on all of our community tabs, on our discords, because we will be sharing the rules and also the location via that form once you've submitted it. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Sky. She'd be happy if you do